Hey there guys, what's up? It's JP here and I'm finally back the next with my second uh, movie review and for this time around I'll be doing something a little bit different. I'll be doing two movie reviews back to back um, just because I watched a couple, a whole bunch of movies recently but I'm not going to review all of them just because some of them are a little bit more obscure and I think you guys would rather know more about like the more mainstream or currently out in theater movie, movies rather. <clears throat> So let's start off with the one that we have on the background right now. We have the Fast and Furious 7. Now, personally, I, I really enjoyed this movie. Um, don't get me wrong, I'm not going to give it a super high score, but um, I'm just going to run through my thoughts real quickly. I'm not going to go through the previous process like I did with the Cinderella one, just because uh, that video, this video will take like an hour long if I do it that way. Um, so yeah, uh, the cast, basically, we have the returning cast, Vin Diesel, The Rock, you know, um, What's his name? Tyrese and uh, Michelle Rodriguez, and so on and so forth. Um, personally, as an ensemble piece, I think it's pretty okay. Uh, my only complaints would be that um, you don't get to see enough of The Rock. Like personally, I went to this movie just to see The Rock, and I'm not getting a lot of The Rock in this movie. Like maybe about like ten minutes or so of The Rock, which is kind of disappointing to me. Um, <clears throat> but the one thing I have to comment about this movie is. Um, if you're going there for a realistic movie, you know, you're not going to get it with this, right? Everybody knows the Fast and Furious franchise. It's not really known for their realism. Um, but they do have some really, really fun moments in this movie, especially uh, with The Rock, right? You know, uh, there's a scene where he's like in a cast and instead of like removing his cast, he just flexes his arm and then the cast just rips off. Uh, so that's really fun. Uh, so yeah, personally, this movie for me has been a lot of was really a lot of fun. It's a surprise because I'm actually one of the few people on the planet that is not a fan, especially as an Asian guy. I'm like one of the only Asian people that don't like the Fast and Furious, which is kind of weird. But um, Fast and Furious Seven was alright. I I really enjoyed this movie. Um, like I said, I'm not gonna give you a bad high score, but I'll get to that in a bit here. Uh, one of the spoilers that I had to give away is the ending, of course, which is more of a tribute to Paul Walker, which I think was really brilliantly done by this film. Uh, the marketing guys who did this film really had a lot of respect for Paul Walker. They didn't put, like, advertise, oh, the last movie of Paul Walker, that kind of thing. Even though I'm pretty sure its success is strictly due to Paul Walker's passing, or not strictly, but largely due to that to his passing here. This is kind of like his last film that we get to see him in, uh, especially in this franchise. So yeah, really nice ending especially. And uh, I'm gonna give this movie a solid 7 out of 10. Uh, it might be a little bit less than my Cinderella score, but... Well, I did actually prefer Cinderella over this movie, but still, it's a pretty good movie. Definitely not gonna make my top 10 this year though. Um, but yeah, that'll be all for this one. That's so that you guys know, would I recommend you guys go out and see this movie? Yes, I would. Uh, there are some flaws with it, uh, but if you're, willing, if you're willing to throw like reality out the window just for a couple of minutes or a couple of hours, or, you know, however long the movie is, uh, you're going to find yourself really enjoying it. Yeah. Um, there are some dialogue a little bit cheesy. Uh, the action sequences are really nice. Uh, I've never been a big fan of the cars driving around the streets kind of movie but uh, this was pretty okay and uh, I'm not sure if this is going to be my favorite Fast and Furious movie it's probably not going to be I'm going to guess that's going to be either 5 or 6 but this one even though it's a bit of a step down you know the ending I think is just uh, worth just waiting for it in my opinion uh, let me see hold on yeah I actually have like um, the Attack of Titan going on <laughs> opened up here so yeah, let's just open up the next one here, and next one is this movie right here. That's right, The Avengers. Now I have watched this here, let me move my myself out of here so that I don't block them here. A little, a little bit small there for me, but should be fine. Now let me just push myself into this corner here. I don't think anybody would mind me blocking out a bit of the hot sounds. So yeah, um, now The Avengers, a lot of people actually have commented about. Uh, many people have done the reviews and the spoilers and whatnot. Uh, I'm just not. I'm not going to do a spoiler. I'm not going to do a review. Uh, at least not a proper review, like analyzing all the cast and the music and stuff. Um, what you need to know about my opinion is basically everybody's a really, but the movie's really well casted. So uh, there were no weak performances from anyone. Uh, I'm not going to give away the spoiler. Everybody knows somebody dies here. 
I'm pretty sure by now you would have watched it or you would have uh, at the very least found out who's the one who's biting the dust here. Got a little bit of uh, I just realized here we got a bit of uh, the uh, what's his name vision up there. Um, yeah, so personally, I actually this is another movie I really enjoyed this year. Um, it's hard to go wrong for Marvel movie. It's it's just a really entertaining movie. It's not a great one. It's a, definitely a step down from the first Avengers, but. Uh, I feel that's more to do with just the fatigue that we get from watching this kind of Marvel movies over and over and over again. Uh, more so than it's a bad scripting or bad performances or just a bad movie. Uh, it's not a bad movie. It's not great, but it's not bad. Um, everybody in it's really good, especially um, uh, Steve Rogers' character, Chris Evans. You know, he's really, he really stepped up here. Uh, we have the new Avengers members added there with Scarlet Witch and Quicksilver. Those guys, I mean, they were given really bland characters, but they really did the best they could here. There's some of the other Avengers that you don't uh, like. People you don't see here would be like Ultron himself, uh, that voiced by James Spader, I believe, which uh he did a phenomenal job with a really one-dimensional character. If you ask me, Ultron himself is actually not very interesting, uh, which has always been the flaw of the. Uh, Marvel movies is their villains are just really forgettable, with the exception of like maybe Loki, and even then Loki is Loki is good, but he's not great, um, in my opinion. I know a lot of people would say otherwise, but yeah, I'm not a big fan of the Marvel villains for some reason. Maybe Thanos will come along and I'll change my mind about that. But for the moment, uh, even up to this movie, you know, which is kind of a shame because I was really looking forward to James Spader's. Uh, take on Ultron here, which I, I thought they would have done a lot more having uh, you know an actor of that caliber on the movie, but uh, they, Ultron was pretty forgettable. It wasn't really an outstanding performance. It was a great, it was a good performance, but Ultron himself was really poorly written and fairly poorly realized in my opinion. Like he looks cool in the trailers, but he's so boring in the movie um, <clears throat> and really forgettable like I said. Um, Elizabeth Olsen is my like new celebrity crush. She's like amazing in everything she does. Um, nothing much else to say about this year. As for my overall thoughts of the movie, it's just really fun. You should watch it. I'm not. It's not like Fast and Furious Seven where I would say you don't have to watch it. You're not really missing out on too much here. I would only recommend watching it just for the tribute to Paul Walker because it's really really nice, nicely done. The movie itself is alright, mediocre, uh, but fun. Uh, same can be said for this one as well. Um, do I think you should miss this movie? No. You know, you're gonna have a lot of... You probably have too much fun in this movie to miss it here. I believe by now it's already crossed the 1 billion mark. Both of these movies have crossed the 1 billion mark. Uh, which is a lot more than last year. Because last year I believe only Transformers hit the billion dollar mark. So this year, uh, we have at least 3 movies hitting the billion dollar mark, I believe. Um, that being The Avengers... Uh, Fast and Seven, Fast Seven apparently somehow made it, and obviously end of the year Star Wars is gonna hit a billion dollars. There's no way it's not gonna hit it. Um, I personally, I think Star Wars is gonna be the better, the best of the three movies. Just shaping, just based off my initial impressions of Avengers and Fast and Furious Seven. But I could be wrong. I mean, for all we know, Star Wars could be a complete disaster, but. It doesn't look like it's going to be, so we'll see how it goes. Yeah, so for this movie, I'm going to give it a solid 7.5. It's definitely higher than um, Fast and Furious 7 on my list. I believe uh, Fast, and <laughs> like it was the old Fast and Furious 7 wasn't even on my top 10 anticipated, if I'm not mistaken. So that's no real surprise there. I did uh, find it to be a lot more entertaining than I thought it would be, but overall, it's pretty... It's still what I thought, and it's basically what everybody knew it was going to be. Uh, Avengers, on the other hand, is a little bit disappointing. It is a bit of a step down, and the trailers kind of mislead you into thinking that it's a darker take uh, on the Marvel film, which uh, uh, I do have to apologize for. It's like my hair is such a mess today. Um, but yeah, it is a bit of a disappointment, especially since I had a lot of expectations going to this movie. Perhaps it's unrealistic for me to have such expectations with why. It's like this is happening, but still. Um, and now a lot of people have said that, oh, this movie is a flop, you know, it's not doing well. And that's complete bullshit, right? This is like, yeah, I believe in the US, it's like the second highest 
opening weekend and second highest second week ever. So, uh, first place being uh, the first Avengers. So, this movie is basically the highest grossing uh, opening weekend and second week in the history of American, in the US box office history, um, just behind another Avengers movie. So, there's no way it's it's a it's a flop or a disaster. It's not. Personally, I didn't really enjoy the movie as much as I would. I was looking forward to. Um, I always did consider the first Avengers to be the most overrated film, at least in the past like five or ten years. Just because uh, I don't think it's as great as people make it out to be, but I can see why people like it. It's really really entertaining, and this second one is a it's a bit of a step down. So. Yeah, I'm gonna give it a seven up point five out of this. Let me know what you guys think here and whether you guys like this format uh, of movie review or the previous one where I just really break it down step by step, like down to like the production side and then the casting side and then how it's done in the box office and stuff. Um, but this one's just a bit more of a laid back one, just because it's been really really hard for me to push out videos these past few weeks. Um, I am moving forward with my life a little bit, so. Uh, work has caught up with me, like it finally, uh, really caught up with me. I mean, um, you know, th there are a lot of personal stuff going on in my life as well, so uh, I haven't been able to push out as many videos. But having said that, though, I will be trying to push out a l at least one more today here. I think it'll be a Hearthstone one, or maybe it'll be another game, I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, I'll be back real soon, especially within, with the top 10, instead of top 10 list, I believe. Um, I'm not sure which top 10 list I will be doing next, but I'll try to push out one um, either this today or next week here, depending. Uh, based on the time, I don't really have much, so most likely next week here. So thank you guys so much for watching. Um, let me know what you guys think in the comments below, and I'll see you guys next time. This is JP signing out.